Hello, Facebook friends and fam. I only have about, oh, maybe six minutes to share this wonderful testimony. Um, and if you see it after I go live, that's fine. But I wanted to share it. It blessed my soul. So some of you know, and maybe you don't, and I'm not even sure that it's important that you know, I do um, character development programming in the schools and um, when my program is over hey sister Carla when my program is over I will uh, sub and so today was one of those days that I subbed and I'm, I'm an ugly crier so I'm gonna try not to cry right but I had a particular class this morning and uh, because we had like a water main break or something on our street and um, I was late getting here this morning and so I had a class and had actually prepared the young people um, had prepared the young people last week that I would have their class so when I got here uh, they gave me a different class and in giving me the other class, I was kind of annoyed. Like, why is she sending me to this class? And I had prepared the kids, and I told them that on day three, which would be Wednesday, if they were had behaved, I would reward them. And uh, I do middle school. And so, hey, and um, so they sent me to another class. And I was like, she, I'm complaining, right, about the lady who assigns the classes and I'm complaining and in complaining I'm like oh she is just so petty because I'm late she gave me this class and so the first group of kids come in and again I'm subbing I'm not teaching my character development class and the first young lady that walks in she's crying And I said, babe, she said, can I go to the bathroom? And I said, baby, what's wrong? She said, I just hate myself. I hate myself. And I said, why do you hate yourself? She said, I can't do anything right. I'm always failing. I'm so stupid. And I said, oh, babe, come here. So... I just loved on her and told her how awesome she was and how great she was. And she said, I can't pass any tests. And so I'm like, so you took a test? And she said, yeah, and science. And I said, what, math, science? She said, she said, science. And I said, okay. I said, well, you know what? Miss Tate wasn't good in science either. I wasn't good in math. I said, but look at me today. God allowed me to get a doctorate degree, babe. Now I wasn't crying with her. I said, but I wasn't the smartest knife in the drawer, right? You know, I said, as a matter of fact, in middle school, about your age, seventh grade, I said, I remember hearing them say, boys are smarter than girls in math and science. And I decided that day, uh, boys aren't going to be smarter than me <laughs> in math or science. And I said, so I just put my mind to being smart, right, in math or science. I said, and I went on and got a systems engineering degree, engineering, you know. So I'm telling her, and she's starting to perk up, and I'm making her declare her greatness and her awesomeness. And I said, well, what did you get on the test? I'm thinking she's getting ready to tell me she got a D or an F, and she said, I got a C plus. Y'all, our babies, our babies need to be encouraged. Do you know how many young people would be excited to get a C plus, but she said that's not good enough. That's not good enough. So I encouraged her that it may not be her best, but she's far from a failure. And she can do and be anything she desires to be. So we talked a little bit about what that was. But I had to repent because I complained about being in this class. I 
complained about being sent to this group. But had I not been in here, it would have been another teacher. It would have been another sub who may not have had the words to encourage that baby. So I told her, I said, well, you go ahead. Do you still want to go to the bathroom? She said, yeah. I said, drink you some water, freshen up your face, and come on back. So she came on back and worked diligently through class. And before she left, she said, thank you, Miss Tate. No, no, no. Thank you, Dr. Tate. Y'all, our babies, our babies, I've been working with youth for over 25 years. I've been working for youth over 25 years. But I'm telling you, it's these moments that you know, that you know, God has you in the right place at the right time for just that one. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, people say, how do you work with these middle school and high school kids? Oh, but I love them. Oh, I love them because I can be real with them. I can touch them right where they're at. There's one little boy today. He looked just like one of my nephews. I said, boy, you look so much like one of my nephews. I'm about to pop you on the back of the neck because you just clowning in class and you're going to stop it. Do you hear me? <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm about to get my next group, but I wanted to share this story. If you come encounter, in, encounter a young person who needs an encouragement, the truth is you don't have to come into an encounter with a young person who needs encouragement. Every young person needs an encouragement. They need to be told that they're great, that they can achieve anything, that God has a purpose for them, that there is greatness in them, that they are not a failure. Even if she would have got an F, she's still not a failure. Hallelujah. So be encouraged to encourage someone, not because it's the holiday season, because God has allowed you to go through some things and achieve and be victorious. And you remember what it was like. So encourage some young person, love on some young person, tell them they're great and they're awesome. And watch him perk up like that baby when she left my class and said, thank you, Miss Tate. No, thank you, Dr. Tate. It's not in the title. It's in the love of God. God bless you.